Avengers almost. Brett Miller. Where's your Irish friend? Sorry? She's still got two hours to do before her beach cleaning duties are over. OK. OK, well, I'll, I'll give her a call. <sighs> hey, Jackie, you've run out of milk downstairs. Yeah, help yourself. And can you call a plumber and ask him to come and fix his tap? You just need a new washer. Oh, I suppose Craig can fix it. You don't need Dad. You got me. You. Easy peasy. Leave it to me easy. Quickly, uh, I'm putting you on. I need you to score. Uh, but that's Hannah's job. She's not feeling well. I've let her stay in bed. Well, can't someone else do it? You are someone else, Tara. Come on! Hate sport. But uh, the whole school's there. It's it's a very important match. Well, then why aren't you there? Oh, <coughs> uh, I'm 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 not feeling well. Why aren't you in bed? I I I just had to collect something. What you mean that lump of rock? What? Hmm. Titanium. Lead. Zinc. Wouldn't surprise me if there's copper in there, too. You can tell all that. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to know its exact composition? Well, yeah, but how? Meredith? Are you on the internet? Yeah, why? Look, stop hogging the phone line, OK? I need to get online. I'm downloading a program. Look, I've got to send an email. OK, how long's it going to take? Uh, about half now. I can't wait that long. What is it? A modified Magno spectrometer. <laughs> I built it last term. What does it do? It measures magnetic forces. You see, I can analyse exactly what any metal object is made up of. And it won't hurt us? No. No chance. Hmm. What, what do you mean, hmm? That's a high reading. It, it's usually between 4.3 and 7.8. This suggests a very unusual combination of metals. How unusual? Uh, I'll have to get my chart. Hang on. Cormac? Yeah, it won't be long. Look, Cormac, there's something you should see. Cormac, hurry! This is impossible. Hannah, move away. Move away. Hurry. Hannah, get down. Get down! What happened? The machine's obviously malfunctioned. Sorry, Hannah. I don't know why it did that, though. It's worked perfectly until now. Cormac. Mm. What would happen if the numbers on your machine really were accurate? Oh, that's not possible, Hannah. The... There's no metal anywhere that contains such magnetism. Well, just suppose. <laughs> well, you could... You could zap yourself anywhere in the world, just like that. Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere there were rocks contained the same sort of metal. So even... South America or... Australia? It'd be like walking through a door. <laughs> Thanks, Cormac. Sorry about your machine.
before time. You ran close to the wind there, girlie. You've got two full hours to do, right? And I don't want to see one piece of litter left on this beach. You owe me big time for this, Hannah. Well, that was a good game. A uh, pity we lost, though. So. I couldn't care less. Tara, we'll go and check on Hannah, see how she's feeling. I'd be really interested to uh, to look at your machine. Tara. Oh, deep down, she she is a real science freak. Tara. Oh, well, she's she's very shy about it. In fact, she'll probably deny it. But if you could explain how it works, it would give her such a buzz. Tara. She's coming. I'll leave you to it, and make it as technical as you like. She loves that stuff. Excuse me, Cormac. Do you mind? This is it. Fundamentally, it's very simple. You just have to make sure that the magnetic fields are harnessed so that the opposing forces can be maximized. What? Yeah, I based it on this theory I found in Future Science magazine. Do you, do you subscribe? Uh, Cormac, why are you talking to me? Would you like to see the magnetic polarizers or, or the sensor pads? I couldn't care less about sensor pads or polarizers or anything else. But you don't mean that. Read my lips, Cormac. Absolutely nothing you have to say could ever be of interest to me. You awake, Hannah? You won't believe what just happened. That geek, Cormac, actually tried to pick me up. I mean, as if. How could he even think that someone like me could be remotely interested in someone like him? I was almost going to scream when I thought, well, calm down, Tara. You know the effect you have on boys, even losers like Cormac. So I just kept my cool and, like, you know, humoured him. Oh, by the way, Miss Murphy wants to know how you are. <coughs> oh, that's disgusting. Please try cough towards the window. Anna, uh, watch out for creepy Cormac. He's so desperate he'll latch on to anyone. Even you, Hannah. Brett, he should be helping with this. I don't know. I thought he was with Hannah. Hmm. Didn't see her arrive. She's down on the beach. It's her last cleaning session. Oh, poor thing. Why don't you ask her out for a drink when she's finished? Sure. Hannah! Hannah! Jackie wants to know if you want a drink when you're finished. Go on, it's so hot down there. You don't want to dehydrate. Great, I'll tell her you're coming. Meredith, that means no. with yourself then oh Jackie hi so you actually got through it how, how did you know I saw you uh, y you did mm hmm we all did and we're very pleased you made it but, but, but I, I thought that... nothing to worry about but a beach cleaning's no big deal beach cleaning anyway you finished now I, I finished 
Do you want that drink? You must be so thirsty after all that work, eh? Oh, I'd love a drink. Thanks. Red! Come and have a drink with Hannah! What? Jackie invited her up. Uh, Hannah's already left. No, she hasn't. She's gone. I just saw her. She said she'd be back tomorrow. Well, she changed her mind. Come on. Listen, Hannah had to go in a hurry. She uh, had some important family business. Hey, Brett. What are you doing here? Oh, well, that's charming. The poor girl's been cleaning the beach for two hours and she's hot and tired. Oh, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Funny that, because so am I. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get yourself a glass. Actually, um, Brett said he was going to lend me a book. I did? Yeah, y you know that novel? On magnetic attraction. Oh, yeah, that I, I think I've got downstairs. You've got magnetic attraction. That's too girly for you. How did you get here? I couldn't get the portal open. Sorry, it's my fault. When I had to do it now. Do what? Open the portal from my side. How? It's magnetic. Cormac showed me how. Cormac? You told Cormac about it? Well, no. See, we were doing a science experiment. Why? You were supposed to be here finishing your beach duty. Oh, I'm sorry. Guess which one I thought was more important. Well, never mind, OK? Just come and see. It's completely fantastic. As soon as Cormac explained it to me, I realised. The metal shapes magnetise each other once you turn them. Yeah, but the magnetism... It must be huge. Try enormous. Then multiply that by 100. So why wouldn't the portal work for me? Oh, well... Because I'd taken out one of the portal keys, but at least now we know it opens on both sides. Yeah, but you can't just come in and out. All right, we've got to have rules. Okay, the most important one being that no one can find out about this. Right. Okay, well, I better get going. I'm supposed to be in bed sick. Right. On. And thanks for doing the beach cleaning today. I really owe you one. You bet you do. What's happened? It's not working. It has to. Work. Well, it's not, is it? Well, it has to work, otherwise I'm stuck here. The secret is to screw the tap on really well. That way the seal stays tight and the water stays in. Yeah, that should do it. When you open the pool in Ireland, what did you use to scrape the gunk out of the slot? I used a nail file. That must be it. It got stuck on the portal key from the magnetism. The metal must be interfering with the force field somehow. OK, okay we, we need someone at the school to go down to the cellar and remove the nail file. But they'll discover the portal. No, they won't have closed it. But what if they get suspicious? We need someone we can trust. Like who? Someone who won't blab, someone... Someone totally reliable. I'm working on a new version of the Magno Spectrometer. Tell someone who cares, Cormac. Would you like to see the blueprints? What? They're really exciting. Look. I cannot believe this. Hey, Cormac. Oh. What? No one rings me. Who is it? She didn't say. What? 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 She? What? You mean like a girl? Yeah. Wow. A girl. Who is this? It's me, Hannah. Oh. Oh, it's only you. What do you mean, only me? Oh, well, well Mar Martin said it was a girl, so... <laughs> what? So what am I, a rhinoceros? Hannah, get on with it. OK, Cormac, sorry. Um, I need to ask you a favour. In a hurry. What kind of favour? Um, well, when I was down in the cellar this morning, looking at the strange carving on the wall, have, have you noticed it before? Uh, can't say I have. Oh, well, it's really interesting. Anyway, when I was scratching the dirt off, I left in a hurry and the nail file still in the wall. So? So, I need you to go down and take it out for me. Well, why can't you get it? Because, because I'm supposed to be in bed sick. You know, what if Miss Murphy sees me? She'll, she'll go berserk. Well, we'll get it tomorrow then. No, well, Cormac, you don't understand, okay? It, it's Tara's. And, you know, if she realises that it's gone, she'll make my life miserable for weeks. Oh. oh, OK. OK, I see the problem. OK, so... So you'll do it for me? Yeah. Where are you ringing from? Cormac, please. OK, will you do it or not? Yeah, yeah, OK, all right. 
Okay. I want one more thing. Um, after you take the nail file out of the wall, um, you need to send an email for me to bread at dropmail.com. Uh, yeah. Saying what? Just Hannah says hi. Fair enough. Okay. Thanks a lot, Cormac. Leave it to me, so. Bye. Bye. It's a work, won't it? It has to. Otherwise, I'm dead meat. Another fire drill. No questions, just move. So it is a fire drill. It's bad enough that I have to do this silly job without having to answer silly questions, too. Fire warden, anyone here? Why are you hanging around the girls' bathroom? Um, uh, well, I. Well, I had to get something and, uh. I found this. That's mine? Yes. Where did you get it? Well, not not in the cellar. Somewhere somewhere completely different. Come on. Out. Cormac, I think it's time we face this problem square on. Um, what problem? When you look at me, you see someone who's who's beautiful and popular and got loads of personality, right? Uh and that's why you've fallen in love with me. Sorry? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I know the effect I have on boys. Look, I'm not embarrassed. You just... You need to find someone who's a bit further down the food chain. You what? know? Someone you can talk to, share things with. Looks aren't everything, you know. Ah, certainly not in your case, anyway. Look, but... I know I... it's tough for you. The girl of your dreams, so near yet so far. But remember... Real love is about giving people the space they need, right? Here, keep this as a memento. Come on, keep moving in an orderly fashion! Supposing he decides to investigate the portal key? What's that? It's the water pipes. What's that noise? It's just the water pressure building up. It'll be fine. Call a plumber. Now! Cormac, can't you hear the fire alarm? Off you go. Come on. Got it. Great, let's go. Sorry I was a pain today. I was in a total panic. No worries. You weren't the only one. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Check your class groups. Make sure everyone's here. Cormac, come on, please. Tara, have you got everyone checked off your list? Everyone except Hannah. Right. Good job, everyone. Tara, well done. I want everyone to go back inside in an orderly fashion and go back to your classes. Me. Hannah, look at you. What happened? 
I, I went I went down to the showers and <laughs> the fire alarm went off and I, I panicked and got wet. But I checked the showers. See, that's your fault for distracting me. Actually, that was a very sensible thing to do, Hannah. But thankfully, it was a false alarm. So you can go and get out of those damp clothes immediately. Yes, miss. <laughs> Everyone else, back to class, please. Just between you and me, I know what Cormac's been getting up to. You, you, you do? <laughs> He's completely loopy about me. I sorted him out, though. But, um, be careful of him. He's completely weird. Um, thanks so much for your help. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. That's, that's okay. Oh, could you give this to Tara, please? Oh, um, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she gave me that, but I, I don't want anything of hers. So. Uh, Tara's not your type? Be careful of her. She's completely weird. Next up on Pop Girl, Adam finds himself faced with racism in Blue Water High. Can I interest you gentlemen in a cup of tea?